Yo guys, what is going on? Back here with Fantasy Football. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about Antonio Gibson today and what should you do with him if you're an owner, what should you do with him if you want him uh, to trade for him, and let's get into it. So, last two weeks have been kind of disappointed for Antonio Gibson based off of where you drafted him and stuff like that. Obviously, some people were taking him late in the first round if it's a deep league. Some were taking him in the second or third round if it's a smaller league like that. But, man, for a second or third round pick, you should be getting at least at least a little bit more points from that. Like, I think it was nine points he got you last night, which is okay for a flex, I guess, in a deeper league. But, man, not that good. First of all... I was not very high on Antonio Gibson coming into the season. Uh, you still got J.D. McKissick there. You know that with J.D. McKissick, he caught 80 balls last year. And I get it. Antonio Gibson is the main runner. He's the main running back on that team. But the problem is, a lot of what Antonio Gibson gets is based off his passing work. And you put J.D. McKissick in that offense. Now, with a guy like Heineke at quarterback... You know, and you have Antonio Gibson. Like last year, it was Alex Smith at quarterback. So Alex Smith was going to be dumping off those little short dump passes to Antonio Gibson all the time. You know, and J.D. McKissick would get in there once in a while too. And that's why he caught so many balls last year. But now, it's different because, you know, Fitzpatrick's going to be out for a little bit. And I'm not sure. The way Heineke played last night, he might take over permanently as a starter. Um, but other than that, it's like Heineke, if you look at the game last night, Gibson was wide open for a lot of pass attempts, and they, Heineke did not just, he didn't ju just dump it off to him and make those catches for Gibson, like Gibson could have made those catches and turned them into big plays. Heineke doesn't do that. He runs with the football. You know, he doesn't dump it off, and it's, it's weird. It's weird to see. I, like I said earlier... I was never high on Antonio Gibson. He was a third-round pick. I believe it was out in Memphis. Um, he was never really a running back. I believe he only got like 24 carries when he was in Memphis um, for his whole college career. And he was mainly a wide receiver that the football team uh, converted into a running back. Now, here's my thing. If you are the Washington football team... I would love to see if Antonio Gibson would get more carries. But the problem with Antonio Gibson is he'll get worked out of that offense once in a while. The scheme won't be right. You know, like last night, the scheme wasn't right. They were playing a pretty even game. It was mainly a shootout. You know, they were they were down. They were up. They were, it, it, there were so many lead changes that Gibson really didn't get a chance. And I don't trust that Giants offense. I mean, I don't trust that Washington football team's offense coming down the line. You know, it's like you – I don't trust the Giants' offense either, but especially not the Washington football team. Washington's offense is very hit or miss. Antonio Gibson is going to be very hit or miss the rest of the season. He's either going to get you 20 fantasy points a game. He could probably pop off, maybe get you 30 fantasy points a game. But, man – He's, he'll have those games where he's going to get you 10, 11. So here's what I'll do with Antonio Gibson. As one who's not really high on Antonio Gibson for fantasy, I like the player, not a big fantasy fan for him. Um, I would trade him. I, and if you could get a good value for him, because you're not getting the value. If you could get the value that you drafted him at, do it. But would you buy low is a question. Would I buy low on Antonio Gibson? It depends on the player. Would I trade a guy like Tyson Williams for him? Yes. Would I trade a guy like Eli Mitchell for him? Yes. You know, guys that, you know, you picked up on the waivers that, you know, you know aren't going to be good. Like Eli Mitchell, you know that 49ers backfield is going to be a committee. You know the Ravens backfield is going to be a committee, even though they run a ton. You know they're going to be committees. So if you can get Antonio Gibson for cheap, like an Eli Mitchell, for Eli Mitchell or Tyson Williams, I would do that. Like I'm not, I'm not out on Antonio Gibson totally, 
But if you get it for a low price, it wouldn't be a bad bargain. It wouldn't be a bad deal. Anyway, guys, that's what I think you guys should do with Antonio Gibson. Buy low. Um, sell if you get proper value for him. But, man, it's... It's a weird Washington backfield. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Are you going to buy Lone Antonio Gibson or are you going to sell him? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.